Hey, Heartlanders. Continuing our series, Whatever Happened To, I interviewed Craig Arnold, who plays Jeff Crawley, Georgie's older brother. He talks about his time on the Heartland set in season six through eight, and some really cool behind the scenes stories about his time there. And if he could be back in a future season of Heartland, watch this. So there was one episode when I pull up in a Ferrari to try. Yeah. yeah. And so the owner of that Ferrari was a guy from Calgary and, you know, they paid him to rent the car and f- right. to use it for the day. Um, and he pulls up in it and like, I like cars and, that was a really nice brand new Ferrari. <laughs> really nice oh, this this is what I get to pull up in. Oh my God. <laughs> so uh yeah, the guy came up to me and was like, Hey, listen, man, if you want to go take this on the highway real quick, like we can go. And he was the owner of the car. I was like, Are you serious? We can we can go. And I was like getting loud. I was like, We can I can take this on the highway. Let's go do it. And then <laughs> the director or producer overheard me being loud and excited i was like hey no no no, no. You're, not, you're not taking that on the highway it's staying here you're driving it like the the 50 feet it has to go to the like for the scene and that's it and then i kicked myself ever since then for being so loud about that i could have just peeled out <laughs> hey cassandra right i'm jeff we met yesterday. Well, sort of. The canoe, remember? Thought you might want to help me take it for a test drive. All right. Hey, wait! It's a rental! How did you get cast in Heartland originally? It was season six at that point, and... I think then the general vibe was that, you know, this might be one of the last few seasons, which is funny now thinking about yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that but makes yeah. sense though. Cause most shows only go for like four, six, eight. Oh seven, yeah. Yeah. Five. I got out there. They were saying this is season six. This could be it. And you know, <laughs> 10 years later. Um, but yeah. So yeah. Audition in Toronto said Jeff was a cocky young guy. Not the most, uh, uh humble um <laughs> and like that was really a major point it was the one audition and then went out to calgary and, and started on that can i help you hi uh, i'm looking for georgina crawley is she here jeff it's work Daddy. <laughs> And what do you think of the set like itself? Like that really was a major, major highlight. That's the most beautiful set I've ever been to. And something in particular with Heartland that's so nice is that the Heartland Ranch exists. It's a real place. Um, and it's just, it's magical. You go there, the mountains are in the background. It's just lush and green in the foothills outside of Calgary. Like you just feel like you're totally in the show you know they have a studio too where they do the interior scenes but for the most part it's just you know it feels like you're just you're there and and, and you don't have to act so much um but yeah it's it's absolutely gorgeous were you a child actor no i wasn't i wasn't i really started out um wanting to be a musician like playing guitar in bands uh all through high school yeah 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 that's interesting you said that because Especially in season 16, John Johnson's been writing music and then one of the writers... Oh, yeah, I remember. Things, you, yeah, he brings guitar to the set. Yes. Yeah. And he's been doing a lot of music. So be continuing that. That'd be a cool storyline. Like, Jeff comes back and he's part of a band. And I don't oh, know, yeah, it's yeah. Maybe hey, this, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. I would do that. I mean, people always wondered after season eight, where is Jeff? Everyone's always... I know, wondering. I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Last year, I was interviewing... Um, like I was telling you, um, Jake Church, and he was yeah. like, he's like, I don't know, they haven't called me, but then he was on season sixteen, yeah, episodes, but then and then Mallory, of course, came back, and then right, Mallory yeah, came back. but then even other people like um, Tim, uh, Chris Potter, his character Tim has a son, uh, Shane, mm. and they brought him back, even though he looked so different because he was a kid, he was like, right, 18. right, 
and now he's like you know 25 but um he came back for a couple of episodes well i guess yeah when it goes as long as yeah it <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, it, when it goes that long it makes sense people wonder like where is this character like what yeah happened? we haven't seen him in five years yeah. 16, <laughs> seven years yeah. yeah you do get curious so right and, yeah that's something so unique about a show that goes that long is that yeah you do wonder on season right. 16 what happened to that guy from season four yeah. season five and then of course like with graham graham left after season 13 did you interact with him i know you had a few scenes with him yeah yeah um he was probably who i was closest with uh yeah he was super nice um, really sweet guy good actor really he is do you, do you yeah. keep up with what, he doesn't do acting anymore which is really sad because he's so good at it and so yeah i had watched your interview with caitlin the one that you just did and yeah. she was mentioning he had got he had written a book and been traveling and gone to mongolia yeah yeah right. it's amazing that the show even though it lost one of its major characters like really maybe the most major character yeah it's really amazing. it's still going. yeah on. yeah that is amazing did you, did you ever since you she was your sister on the show yeah what was it like working with her she was like 12 or 13 i think yeah um yeah just she was super sweet um just a really nice humble kid and her mom was really sweet they just had a really nice family and and she was just really good too like just a yeah. little professional like just yeah, yeah it was amazing to see her that young show up it's intimidating with all the older adults and yeah you know cameras and lights and the pressure and she just right. just nailed it like she was at home do you feel like going on a trailer ride? Or are you still too bruised from falling off your bike? No, I feel okay. I'm just I'm almost for horses. Well, you should at least give it a try. Because what if we never have a chance to go riding again? Maybe we have all the time in the world. Maybe we don't. What's with you? Nothing. I'm just happy you're here. What is your fondest, yeah. do you have a fondest memory of being in Heartland? When you drive out to the set, to the Heartland Ranch, you you literally come down that road that you see in the opening credits where you see the, the Heartland symbol on top of the post as you drive in. You see the mountains and the ranch below in the valley. And like, just that's kind of seared into my mind, just how magical that was, just being in the setting um so yeah those those two things just the just being in such a beautiful place and all the times that the whole uh cats and crew was together like they're just fun they're not taking themselves too seriously they're having a good time like what sets yeah. you on that's like that you know Nothing, man. yeah it's just it's totally unique it's yeah it really is uh magical yeah that's the best way to, like when you said totally unique and magical i mean those are like probably the best adjectives you could use for heartland yeah yeah like i've done you know a few quite a few shows and movies and that it just it feels different doing heartland i love it and if you like this video, please like and subscribe for more great videos all about Heartland. Bye for now.